Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Man, look. It's been a minute I've been going through some things, so I tell you what, you know. I'm still chilling. I'm um working. <laughs> working at trying to get everything back on course. Uh certain people have been giving me more problems than usual, but I handle that. What's going on, Danny? But I'm going to tell y'all like this. This is going to be quick. I am not going to stay on here all day, but i tell you this much. A lot of y'all. What's going on, Luke? Keith. Y'all don't even understand what this whole dog breeding thing is about. Y'all, Tony, what's going on, brother? Y'all turn this more into a marketing seminar. You know what I mean? I've actually went to several marketing seminars here lately. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Rogers? Mr. Alexander? But, uh, you know, I went to several marketing things. I've talked to some good people, just more so for the TBKC and getting that in order. And I had to take a pause because, unfortunately, I had to deal with some personal stuff that's uh, pretty ridiculous, but you still got to deal with it. But what's going on, Austin? Kim? <laughs> I tell you what, though. Whoa, whoa, same shit as uh, every day. You know, in the, in, the, in the marketing seminars, the first thing they tell you is to not mark, mark your prices down. It's a, it's a very key strategy. Luke, Larry, they say never mark your prices down. Never mark your prices down. Even if your product is screwed up, never mark your prices down. This is what's going on, Oscar. Ramos. And the reason they say that is because, um, you know, if you give a good price on something, people tend to think that it doesn't have value. You know, so basically, what's going on, Rob? Brandon. What's going on, Douglas? I got to say what's up to everybody. Wes, I got, I, you just hit me up the other day. I hit you up on that number. But yeah, the, my lines is working for some reason. We was, every time I run this app, it block a lot of people's numbers or, or send it to a spam. I think it's called spam folder or some shit. Rich, <clears throat> but I let me let me get it going. Oh, for sure, Ramos, we on our way, man. Uh, like I was saying, I got sidetracked about some shit that maybe I'll talk about later on, but uh, ridiculous things. Uh, but we back at it, man. I'm gonna tell you the truth, Danny. Puppies everywhere. <laughs> it, it it boils down to this, man. In this dog world, y'all have to stop getting so tripped up on prices. Everybody's prices and prices and prices. Ellie, you ain't going to do nothing. But, you know, <clears throat> price is marketing. Quality is, hey, what's going on, Peter? Quality is a different thing, especially in the dog world. Any fool can slap a price on anything they want and tell you that it costs a lot of money. It's only one thing in the dog world that actually, you know what I'm saying, says quality. Well, it's a several things, but it's the same theory. First and foremost health. If the dog can't live, it's not a quality animal. Second of all, if it's supposed to be a purebred dog, confirmation according to that breed standard. These are the only two things that decide if your dog is quality. You fools sound crazy talking about these dogs that can't walk or breathe. It's supposed to be this and that and the other. I'm just being real with y'all and I'm, I'm telling y'all, I get it sick and tired of a lot of you son of a bitches. You know, a lot of y'all talk real heavy I don't understand it, but the truth of the matter is, is that most of these dogs that they are pushing, you know what I mean, are are trash. Oh, Ellie, I got a story to tell you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call you right after this thing, as a matter of fact. Hey, Shauna. But the, 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 the craziest thing about this is, is, man, I've seen dogs, I've sold dogs for $1,000. Not because I couldn't get more, but because I thought that they were going to the right home. And that thousand dollar dog went on to destroy the show rings, be featured all over the ABKC's page and whatever else. And it was no problems. You know, I've sold dogs for ten thousand dollars. Sometimes that was just where it was at that I didn't want to sell the dog. And they were like, basically, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. So cool. Let's buy dog food. But <clears throat> when it comes to health, what are we talking about here? A friend of mine again today told me that, you know, sent me a whole plethora of dogs that's got wings on their back. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be insensitive at all, but I'm going to tell y'all like this. I have been blessed. And I, I'll say that first and foremost. Thank God 
that I haven't had to bury a bunch of my dogs from dying from early age and stuff. I'll be real with you. I had to bury a couple from dog fights, from them breaking out of cages and stuff over the years. But, you know, most of my dogs grow old. I just posted a picture of y'all showing Danny with Castro. Castro is getting old. Where Cat Danny has literally got Castro on a rope holding him over his head. And if y'all know if y'all see Danny, Danny's not a small guy. He got Castro held all the way up over the top of his head, and Castro still hanging onto the rope, snatching, and Castro pushing towards 10 years old. Castro, if I do believe, Castro is um had to do my math, but Castro is about eight years old now. He's still doing what he does. You know, Denzel was out there last week and he almost got into a damn fight with some dog. You know, that came in the yard, you know, and he he's still on it, running up and down the yard. Of course, he ain't what he used to be. I won't lie to you. He's, about, he's damn near 11 years old now, but he's living, you know. And I'm just telling you all this. <clears throat> it's a ridiculous trend. Let me take a sip real quick. <laughs> Clear my throat. Yeah, I had lunch. I had a glass of wine with the lunch, so it is what it is. But, um... It's a ridiculous trend in our community to keep putting wings on these damn dogs. I'm very empathetic and sympathetic to all of these dogs that die and this, that, and the other, but you people are missing the whole fucking point. It is a problem to continuously see dogs dying every single damn day that haven't even reached nine or ten years old. Y'all put y'all spend more time making banners and making uh you know what I'm saying? Remembrance posters and sending out condolences and y'all do fixing these sorry ass dogs that can't live. And then y'all keep on breeding them. And you saw the health problems beforehand, but y'all keep on breeding them. Y'all put wings on there. Then y'all want us to salute dogs. Oh, he was a legend. Legend for what? That is a fucking failure, man. To see dogs continuously die over and over again, to see all these health problems and all these health issues in this community, and y'all sit here and y'all, oh, feel sorry for little Pokey or feel sorry for little Boo Boo or feel sorry for, yeah, I do feel sorry for the dogs, but it causes a certain type of irritation towards you sorry motherfuckers who can't understand that if you see an unhealthy dog in your yard, cut his fucking balls off. Or stop calling yourself a dog, man, and call yourself what you are. You a puppy peddling son of a bitch that don't give a fuck about the dogs or our community. It's that simple. Y'all want people to bite y'all tongues and y'all keep on making... If I was a, a graphic arts person, I wouldn't put a damn wing on a dog. If, the, if your dog died at five years old, ain't no wings. Don't put the fucking wings on the dog. The dog didn't need wings. The dogs needed health. And the dog should have still been living. No more wings. No more the dog is going to heaven. The dog is this, that, and the other. Stop all that bullshit. Get back to what matters. I know somebody might like, why are you saying that? I don't care about what y'all got to say. Get back to what matters. Stop looking for likes and comments on a page where you want us to feel sorry because y'all keep breeding fucked up dogs. Some of y'all, a dog's lifespan should at least be damn 10 years. It should, a dog's lifespan should be 10 years. If you ain't making a dog that can live 10 years, you ain't no real damn breeder. 10 years ain't a lot to ask for a dog at all. At all. The Great Dane is one of the most insufficient health-wise dogs in any breed because of their size and their bad hearts. And Great Danes on average now live eight years, and that's still with bad breeding. And that's a giant. That's a giant. We talking about dogs that aren't giants. These are normal sized dogs. If they can't live 10 years, I'm not even going down to nine, Jay. I'm pushing to 10. If you can't make a 10 year old, or your dog live to 10 years old, a healthy life, you are a slum ass breeder. You a piece of shit. Stop making banners and go back to school. And I'm talking not literal school, but learn something about breeding dogs. It ain't that hard, even as puppies, to see an unhealthy puppy. They walk different. They breathe different. By the time they're two years old, you understand that you have a train wreck. Most of the time, by one year old, you understand that you have a train wreck. This shit ain't that hard, man. Y'all want to know why the breeze is so fucked up? It's because of all of the unethical bullshit that y'all cry about every day, that I talk about every day for the last eight years, and the shit still holds true. Much respect, Marco. Larry, the thing about it is, is the, it's the truth. Your dogs are super insufficient. If y'all would stop hanging papers and breeding other breeds into these dogs that you're not supposed to be doing, if y'all would actually pay attention to the fact that instead of having surgeries to, to fix breathing issues and shit, cut the dog's balls off. You dumb son of a bitch, you picked the wrong surgery. Don't pick the surgery to fix his throat. Cut his balls off and fix the community. 
Y'all keep on breeding this old reckless, dumbass shit, wheeling dogs around in wagons and shit and peeing up. Take, take the little piece of damn carpet off the damn table. We don't have time for that shit either. Over and over and over again, y'all, this is shit is like redundant. I have a three, almost four-year-old that understand that a dog is not supposed to be breathing crazy. What's wrong with his breathing? A baby can see a dog and the dog is breathing crazy. And he like, dad, what's wrong with him? A baby. Yeah, they always blaming the bulldogs. And some of the bulldogs don't breathe like that. Bulldogs run around. They're a little lazy. They don't, they, they don't handle the English bulldogs. They don't handle heat the greatest. They're not supposed to be able to handle heat great. You know what I mean? They're not supposed to be able to handle like super freezing temperatures. But I, I know, shit, I had a bulldog that lived a long ass time. I know a friend of mine that got a bulldog that's 13 years old. Now, I wouldn't tell you that he's the perfect example of health running around here. He's a little fat. He's a little out of shape, but he still got his thing going. 13 years, well, 12 years old. It's time for us to really make a change and be serious. Y'all always talking about y'all prices, and we got some, some of the bitches running around here talking about what cars they bought and their lifestyle and do this and do that. Yeah, fuck your lifestyle. You, if, you, if you expect me as a dog man to respect you talking about your lifestyle and how much money you made off this shit, shit, man, I'm, I'm in debt off of dogs. But one thing about it is every single dog that I got out there is still a machine. My dogs don't fall over and die. I take it a step further. My dogs will do some things to your dogs. I got real dogs. And I ain't ashamed to say that. I got real dogs. My dogs will do something to your dogs in the dark alley. I mean, viciously. My dogs, my dogs will, will do that. James, that's it. If we, if, we make, if, if we make the healthier dogs, that's the best business that you can have. You can kill the market. If you're sending out dogs with, to, to people that's healthy and they can enjoy it regardless of the look, but just I don't have to have this dog in no special conditions. Kids, y'all want to take the dog out? Take the dog out. You know what I mean? If y'all want to go to the park with the dog, take the dog to the park. Go ahead. We, ain't got to, we don't have to have no special umbrella or ice packs or nothing. Just let him run around. That's a machine. That's what gets you out here. This is what makes this community better. What I'm talking about is not some... I'm not super hard. Now, when it comes to uh, judging... It's different. I'm, every dog's not a show dog. So in the ring, it's different. But overall, as a community, our dogs should just be healthy. Every, it's healthy dogs that are not great show dogs. That's fine. You know what I mean? That's fine. Exactly, Rich. You know what I mean? I got a friend of mine out in Utah. I'm going to put up a video of his boy because his boy almost knocked himself out. Denzel's son trying to jump at the rope. He down there knocked himself out, but I love it. You know what I mean? He damn near knocked himself out, but he still got that drive and that game to go after it and be out there playing. Who wants a dog that can't play? You're sending out bad product over, over and over and over and over again. The biggest debate, the biggest issue that this community is ever going to have is how screwed up our dogs is. I was just on the highway and I got, uh, not pulled over, but I was at a rest stop. And it was an older couple, you know, they was going back to Minnesota. And the lady said, and the lady said the same thing, how much she loves the American bullies. And I was shocked because this lady had to be well into her 70s, you know, and she was a very nice lady. But the thing she kept pointing out to me then is she said, you know, we do rescues, you know, we do rescues. And right now, all of, you know, she said the rescues and the fosters that she's getting, she's getting far too many dogs that are pretty much considered to be American bullies. And that's because of all this puppy milling and bad breeding. And even those who get the puppy and decide that they want the puppies, once they are bamboozled by a lot of you fake ass breeders out there into believing they're getting something and this dog turns out to be a terrible example of an animal, unfortunately, they do get rid of them in a lot of cases. Then we had the people who just think that they're going to get rich in three days because they were silly enough to pay somebody a, a crazy amount of money on unproven dogs. And then they find out how hard it is to raise dogs and that money's not coming back in. They give up on it. That shit ends up right at the animal shelter. And overall, now, as a community, what's going on, Watson? As a community, we are looked at as the puppy milling uh, uh, <laughs> capital of the world. Our dogs are known for being vastly unhealthy. We are known for being just a reckless-ass community. Our image is shot. You know, people don't trust this community for good reason, uh, period. People don't like this community because of what it represents. And yet, and still, we brag and we think we're doing something special. Most people are in this community to, to beat their chest and make themselves feel special. And the other ones are here to rob it and get a couple of dollars, you know. And 
you know, I've bit, I've bit my tongue several times about several things, but the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, it starts right from the top. You know, we have individuals who will make videos and tell you they don't give a fuck about dogs and it's all about the money. Yet and still, even our biggest registries accept this kind of behavior. Whatever happened to real dog people produ producing a good, uh, a good dog and that, that's it. You know, that's it. That's right, James. You, you do it the whole way around the board. You know, you do it the whole way around the board, man. I've, I've bought dogs and I, I've literally had people who get upset with me when I kill a dog. And I'll just say it what it is when I go ahead and put the damn dog down because it's not what it is. And they're like, oh, you should have sent me that dog anyway. I'm not sending you a dog that has any kind of issues like that. I've had dogs with heart murmurs before. I've had dogs that had bad hips before. You know, I had dogs that had several issues before, but the reason why, as of today, my dogs don't tend to breed that over and over and over again is because I take care of the business. I put a dog down. I don't. Get, some people think that's inhumane. I think it's inhumane for y'all to keep on putting these dogs out here that can't breathe and can't move and can't live a normal life. Like I told y'all, fuck the wings. Nobody feels sorry for you to keep on buying and breeding dogs that can't live a decent life. The key to the key to doing this thing the right way is to make a better dog. The only thing when you look at Westminster and shit like that, ain't nobody even talking about their breeders. You don't even know who these people's these dogs breeders are. You don't even know these people. The reason why you don't know these people is because the only thing that matters at Westminster is who has the best dog. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's the same thing, man. It's the same thing. It, it's the same thing over and over and over and over again, man. I've seen this community from every angle. I've seen people with their fake news. I've seen people with their they, they crazy prices. I've seen people fixing dog shows. I've seen people picking dogs in shows that wouldn't even be able to represent anything. And at the end of the day, when it boils down to it is, this whole community is fucked up. This whole community is nothing but a big ass gossip column. You know what I mean? I'll even talk. I'll even talk about uh, uh, about myself in that in that aspect. Is that you know what I mean? How many times has it been where people jump up there and they talk crazy, reckless shit? Oh man, this, that, and the other. And oh, I did, 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 did. Then you put out text messages. You put out everything else, and you show that these people was in over their head. I made a deposit on the dog, and I thought I was gonna get rich. Oh, this dog screwed up on me. That dog screwed up on me. Now, now the 30 other breeders that I put deposits with, I want my money back. Oh, they robbed me because they didn't give me my money back on a non-refundable depo uh, non deposit. This, that, and the other. Man, it's all a game. This shit's all a game. And at the end of the day, what it boils down to, ain't nobody here about dogs. Everybody's here for a fucking popularity contest. Gossiping like a bunch of bitches all over the internet. That's half of the time y'all ain't seen me on here because I've been really finding my own peace and staying away from a lot of simple motherfuckers on this computer. Because when it boils down to it, ain't none of y'all about dogs. The one topic that I always want to talk about is confirmation and good health, and nobody can even talk about that shit. You know why? Because y'all don't know nothing about that shit. Y'all talk about y'all dogs left and right. People try to call me out on this, call me out on that. Oh, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to make up this lie. I'm going to make up this rumor. It even went as far as to talk about it. I didn't even and claim kids that I got that sitting on my lap every day, all this dumb shit, but y'all can't make a good motherfucking dog. I would say excuse my language, but my language should excuse you, sorry motherfuckers. Let me take a sip. When it boiled down to it, let's just be real. You know, y'all say it's 2019, new year, new me. No, it's the same me. It's just I'm going to be a lot less filtered. I ran out of filters. Went to Walmart. They ain't have none. Lowe's ain't have none neither. So that means y'all stuck with the reality of me. And the truth of the matter is most of y'all couldn't breed a dog if I taught y'all how to do it three or four times because y'all still go back to y'all silly motherfuckers and tell y'all y'all know what y'all talking about. I'm just being real with y'all. Y'all can't talk dogs. If we take away propaganda, lies, high prices, and all the other bullshit, y'all couldn't talk dogs because y'all don't know nothing about dogs. You couldn't talk top lines because most of y'all dogs got fucked up top lines. You couldn't talk feet because y'all dogs got old uh, chicken feet. <laughs> y'all got bullies walking around with chicken feet. 
This is reality. That's why y'all don't want to stick to the topic of dogs ever. Let me take, y'all, that's right. Let me take a sip. I'm actually in the bathroom and it, it was just, uh, took a shower. So it's hot in here. Shit got me sweating. But I tell you what, this is reality. This is reality. Y'all don't want to talk dogs for one good reason. Because y'all dogs is fucked up. If I point that mirror at y'all dogs, if I point, I will tear y'all dogs' asses up. That's why y'all got mad about Mr. Beans. That's why y'all got mad about Rocco. Y'all couldn't tell me I was lying about the dogs. It just hurts. And like my grandma say, sometimes the truth hurts and you got to make that good decision. Am I going to live with the ugly truth or if I'm going to live the beautiful lie? And y'all all decided to live. I ain't going to say every single person, but most of y'all decided to live with a lie. You looking at dogs with fucked up rears winning titles, but you mad at me. You looking at situations where certain breeders is allowed to parade around and do anything they want and they dogs still get championship after championship and paraded and you see owners of registries and everything else doing business with these people and they pushing their own agenda to try to sell what they can sell and breaking and changing all the rules to allow their shit in and y'all mad at me, but the shit is in front of your face. You ain't mad at me. You mad at the truth. That's it. You got dogs dying and people doing all this graphic artworks to put a wing on the damn dog and all this shit. Yeah, but but y'all mad at me when I say the dogs can't live. Y'all mad at me? Somebody need to be mad at you motherfuckers. Because y'all y'all making a bunch of, hey, what's going on, Esther? Y'all making a bunch of insufficient ass dogs. And I'm just talking about it. Every day y'all got a new dog that's then died. Every damn day. My house looked like a nursing home. Got old ass dogs walking around with their old ass kids and their old ass grandkids. These dogs is up here just refusing. Like shit, bitch. I'm gonna at least get me another year in here. Y'all don't wanna talk dogs because when we get to talking dogs, facts hurt. Let's just be real. Or what other topic y'all be mad at me about so I can talk about that shit too. Oh, the Miyagi shit. The man got caught over and over again adding French Bulldog into the Miyagi blood. French Bulldog over and over and over again. Y'all mad at me for saying I won't take the Miyagi blood? The man admitted, admitted that he was using French Bulldogs, but y'all want to say, well, it looks like a bully. Well, shit, some men look like women, but I ain't trying to fuck. Y'all settle down. It's just, a, that's plain and simple. The man got caught. I get to talking about, I get to talking about, you know what I mean? That Rocco's grandmama is, 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 is promoted as a, uh, is promoted as a damn exotic. Y'all mad at me about that. You look on the thing, the, the, the bitch is an exotic. But y'all mad at me about that. This is reality. I'm not making these things up. What are y'all mad at me for? We seen a man whose dog wouldn't show, jump in the ring with his skinny jeans on and his wife beat her, drag the damn dog around the ring and get handed a first place ribbon. And y'all mad at me, but y'all ain't mad at the situation that people can run around with skinny jeans and wife beaters with their insufficient ass bodies coming in that mother look like the Pelican Brief dragging dogs around the ring and y'all mad at me? Should be mad at these people. Who allows this? No skinny jeans and wife beaters in the ring. Oh, and no dragging dogs around the ring neither. This is the kind of shit that we see all day, every day. But we brag because we find somebody who's stupid enough to pay for it. People pay for stupid shit all day. What's that one? Nicolas Cage. He spent $270,000 on a damn dinosaur head. And when he had to file bankruptcy, they took his dinosaur head. People buy stupid shit all day. You can't justify stupidity with stupidity. Your dog can't walk, he can't breathe, he can't move, he fits no standard known to man. This is all I'm talking about. If you have, you know what I mean? If you have a nice dog, let's just say that. Well, yeah, you're right, Harold Richards. How could I go on? How could I forget about that? We allowed to put capes. We got James Brown bullies. We, we allowed to put ice capes on the dogs while they're in the ring and they still get handed the best in show. You know what I mean? Man, Ben, you stop it. I'm staying away from you. Everybody want to kick your ass, Ben. I ain't ready for no round two. You need to stop claiming people's dogs and acting up too, Ben. 
You just, you've been around long enough that you could really put out some real dog knowledge and you over there bullshitting, getting these people riled up and they ready to cut you, man. You cut, you stop that shit. You stop that shit. You've been around long enough that you can help the community, but you want to be in here claiming people's dogs. And Well, I, I invented this dog. I, I invented that. Well, man, they mad because you keep on lying on them, Ben. Damn, you know you lying on them people. Stop lying on them people, man. You ain't, you ain't created the whole American bully community and all this shit that you be talking about, Ben. Stop that shit, man. And I caught, and they caught you the one time where you took that white dog and you said it was your dog and that man was pissed off the dog with the girl with the booty out. All this shit, Ben, you got to stop this. We're going to send you right to rehab with the rest of them people. Oh, my God. Who, who, who made the... Ben, you ain't made no registry. Man, you stop that. Ben, any, Ben we're not going to do this today. We're not going to do this today. You got people out here. You got people out here looking. Y'all, sorry, my phone rang. You got people out here looking for you in these streets, and they tired of your shit, Ben. I, 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 I know a place where you can hide. You ain't changed the game. You have not produced one substantial dog in this game, Ben. I have been around now 23 years, 23 years. And you ain't, you have not produced not one dog that nobody ever talks about. We don't know what the hell the shark line is or none of this stuff. Ben, you need to stop. Nobody is dealing with you today, Ben. You need to go take your pills and go lay down. Get you a pillow, a Twinkie, and have a good dream. Because you have not made anything in this community. You need to stop it. And I'm talking about stop it right now. S-T-O-P. You need to quit. Because that don't make no damn sense that no 40-something-year-old or however old you is, man, is on this computer lying to these people talking about you that made dogs that you absolutely... What is he trying to promote, Robert? Ain't no promoting a lie. That man has not made anybody's dogs. He need to quit this shit. If he, I'm telling you what, my son is three years old and my son has made more than Ben has. My son has put together a breeding and he's got some litters and people know about it. Now, <laughs> but I'm just telling you the truth. That Ben ain't never, I've been around a long time and I have never ever in my life heard of Ben making no dogs about nothing. I've been in the American bully game for a very, very long time. And I tell you what, he got XL Exotics. Oh, Lord. But I <laughs> I'm just telling y'all the truth. I have never heard of this man. I was a, a, one of the original members of the Elite Edge. I done been to, from everywhere to Jamaica, to Colombia, to... <laughs> California, I've been all over California, all over these here United States messing with these dogs for many years. And I didn't never heard of this man. You know what I mean? And you y'all stop it. I have not heard it. I, I'm and I'm being if I if I heard of you, like if I heard of your dogs, I would give you all the credit in the world. I, I would not lie to you. But I, I have never heard of Ben making no dogs or nothing like that. I knew who he was back in the day. I won't lie to that. But he has never made no impactful shit in this game. He's not a Fabian. He's not. Stop it. That's why Kev and them was, they was at you. And all these lies that you're telling. We can, you should just have you a damn Dave Chappelle show. You should just do skits and talk about the people's dogs that you didn't took, that you didn't made. And then you start talking about that the, 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 the shit came from the Roman times and then they shipped them over here. You know, that one conversation we had, Ben, you changed my life. At that point in time, I realized that I can't talk to people like this. Because when you talk to people like this, you lose a part of yourself. We sat up all night and me and Ben talked and Ben told so many lies that I had to go to church. And I hadn't been in church in years, but I went right into that church because I knew I had sinned some kind of way. I didn't even know how I had sinned. But when you hear like nine million lies in a span of two hours, you know that something is right. Like if I die right now, I'm going to hell for participating in this. And I had been touched by a lie and I, <laughs> and I had to quit. I had to quit. This man, see, and this is what's wrong. Real dog communities don't have people like this. Real dog communities don't have these type of people that they just make up a story. That I was here from the start. I started it all. Remy was my dog. I, I produced Remy. I produced Gotti. I, I produced Gotti's daddy. I produced Gotti's cousin. Yeah, I, Stop it. You didn't produce none of them damn dogs, man. And this is the crazy when you can be so brazen. Now, this is one thing I say, because we got a lot of characters in this community, but this man is so 
brazen. I'm talking about he will tell a lie that everybody knows the, not the truth and he will just stick to it. And yeah, and I did this and I did that. And you did da 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 Man, Ben, you stop it. Stop it now, I say. You tell me one dog that you produce that this community knows anything about. One dog. But I'm going to tell y'all the even sadder part. Let me wipe this down, sort of. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell don't do it. I'm going to tell you the saddest part, though. This is what's wrong with our community. Y'all don't understand why. Because anything that anybody says can become truth. Anything that anybody says becomes truth. This man is getting a bigger and bigger name by constantly telling lies and making people. I mean, he even talked so much dumb shit about the origins of the pit bull that was impossible and all this stuff. Ben, I'm, I refuse. I'm not going to be a part of this. I promised everybody in my family and in my life that I would no longer partake in nonsense. And I'm just, I, I, I can't do it anymore, brother. This is what's wrong with our community. I'm telling y'all, we have so many people, and I'm not going to name it, most of those other people. But they become stars by talking about nonsense. And they, they tell these lies. And they don't, I, I do love Ben's tenacity. Ben, hey, man, Ben will come at it, man. Ben will come at it. But I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to stick to dogs. I tell y'all what, I love y'all, but the truth of the matter is we got to do better, man. We can't keep on doing this. Y'all realize how silly we look. Y'all think anybody is at Westminster carrying on with Ben telling lies and shit like this? It, it, it doesn't. We have all these people in our community who are more characters than anything. This shit reminds me of the WWE. Like, you don't really have to have, like, a super super talent. And that's no, no offense to wrestlers because they are very athletic. But you don't have to be anything special because we can write a storyline to make you special. You know what I mean? You can be you can be from the Amazon and you kill 500 snakes and this is how you got here to fight at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship title. This is how, <laughs> this is how the American bully community is is that we have all these like pseudo celebrity type people and you see them with their sunglasses on and they put up little screwed up dogs and it's like an illusion. You ever been to a magic show? You go to a magic show and the funniest thing about a magic show is, and one of the biggest tricks to the magic show is, is that by nature, our, our eyes always follow the things that don't matter in the, in the magic show. Like during the magic show, that's why they have pretty girls there and you have explosions and everything there. Because all the while, if y'all ever really just tried to focus during the magic show, you could see the trick. But the thing about the magic show is this, is that I'm going to make an explosion over here. Boom, 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 boom. While that explosion is going off, I'm going to put hooks on the car behind me. And, I'm gonna, and the pretty girls is going to slip the hooks on the car. You never saw them put the hooks on because boom, it was a loud explosion over there. So now when I turn back and I tell you that when I wave my hands, this car is going to levitate. Guess what? The car levitates, but you've never seen the hooks that got put on with the wires pulling it up because you followed all the dumb shit. Ben is that explosion. We don't want to follow the real because guys like Ben and people in this American bully community who make you think they're celebrities, but they they, they are celebrities, but they're not dog men. They're not dog people. Because the only thing that matters in the dog world is the dog. And right now, we can't even have good dogs. We can't even have good dogs. And that's all I want y'all to go forward to, to, to thinking about, man. Good dogs. I cheer for all of y'all. I am an advocate of dog people, but we have to make better dogs, man. Y'all got so much hate in your heart about everything. You know what I mean? Some people, I see some people post up nice dogs and y'all try to tear down their dogs. I literally just went all the way to Missouri just to check out that boy the tank just because Everybody was calling the dog fat, and they kept saying the dog was not a good confirmation dog, but that's not what I was seeing, and I was shocked that he was so much nicer in person than even the pictures. I will tell my man Aguilar, you got to take better pictures of that dog. <laughs> but, the, you know, but the dog is impressive, man, because, you know, but I'm a dog man. I don't know all this other shit. I see y'all conversations where y'all going to whoop each other's ass. I'm going to tell you the truth. I've been in this dog community now 23 years, more than way more than half of my life, and to be honest, I ain't seen a whole lot of ass whoopings. Everybody on the computer going to whoop somebody's ass and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. Take it from me. 99.9% .9 of the people that you arguing with behind this computer, if you do go to whoop their ass, they're going to call the police on you. Trust me. I've had the police called on me several times. They're going to call the police on you. They done, they're not going to fight all these arguments. Y'all need to stop these arguments. You're doing nothing, but you're going to jail. You ain't going to land one blow because they got, they got pictures of you at the door and they're going to call the police on your ass. Promise me. I'm telling you. 
I've been out, I escorted out of one venue. I've had my probation officer called on me and pulled into the office at another. I mean, you know what I mean? Big Kev, I knew you was going to come eventually to get Ben's ass up off this damn thing. Uh, but what happened to the dogs and all this community, man? These people don't want to fight. They don't want to throw no blows. There's nothing real about them. If we're going to be real in this community, let's get back to dogs. You don't nobody, these people, you know what, Steph, these, most of these people don't want action. They don't want no action. I've invited people into dark alleys and into secret places is to see what all that talk was about, all that mouth was about. I don't care how big you is, how strong you, let's get it. They don't want to get it. So if that's where, if you come from like the same places that I come from and you be ready to bitch smack somebody, please understand, you're not going to get a lay a hand on these people. They have paperwork in their book bags. They will sign that shit quick as hell. The officer show up. He ain't even got to fill out the complaint against your ass. They will hand it over. Look, it's officer. Get him. Get him. You will you'll be amazed. All the person, all the people that called you punk bitches and MFers and all that shit on the computer and they was going to bust your head down to the white me. You will be amazed at how quick they change their voice. Yes, officer, I am a Christian man and this man has come to brutalize me. He is a savage and he should not be let around. You will be, you be like, is you the same motherfucker that just... <laughs> oh, that's how they do. That's how they do. Y'all remember? Y'all remember the man? The y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The fucker told me, I, I will slap you on sight. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, he slapped me on sight, slapped my ass with a damn restraining order. <laughs> Let me take a sip. Is this, this is what our community is. This shit is funny. We can laugh at this shit. I can laugh because I, it, don't, it don't hurt no more. You know what I mean? It don't hurt no more. But what happened to the nice dogs? I got a ton of sponsors and we finally get into it. And like I say, I, I had, I'm, I'm doing personal things at home that sort of detracted me here over the last month. But we back at it. But the truth of the matter is, is I hope that all the real dog men and, and dog people rally and just, you know, let's create an environment that's so good and so rich with quality dogs and quality animals and quality people that all these outside lying motherfuckers feel uncomfortable. Because my grandma, y'all know I love my grandma. You know, my, I, I was pretty much raised by my grandmother and both of my grandmothers for that matter. And... Uh, my one grandma, Grandma Minnie, she always told me, she said the best way to get rid of a sorry motherfucker is to create a beautiful environment. Because sorry motherfuckers don't feel comfortable in beautiful environments. They tend to shy away from them places. Sorry motherfuckers go to real, you know, dirty, fucked up type places because they can survive there. You know, certain things can't survive in sunlight. That's real. Believe it or not, you know, sun is supposed to be life, but certain things can't even live in the sunlight. And that tell you how low they are, you know. So we have to create an environment that's conducive to things that can live in the sunlight, you know. And our environment right now is not that type of environment. We need to start preaching. I want y'all to preach something with me. Talk it. Don't, don't hold back. You know, it, it might get ugly, but you don't have to argue with those people. I'm uh, Marlon. I'm not. I'm not breeding XLs. I'm just a big dog person. I actually have a South African boar bull, and I have two of what most people would call. Um, well, I just say very big Dobermans. <laughs> people get mad at me when I use the other term, but they're huge. My my Dobermans will be 140 pounds, 130 pounds. The daddy was 140 pounds, but you know, I like I like big ass dogs, man. I like big ass dogs. You know. I love, so I wanted me an XL. I, I liked the tank's look, and I liked it a lot more when I got there. And at that point in time, I was like, well, shit, let me take one home. But, you know, uh, I mean, who knows what the future holds as far as breeding, but it's it's it's, it's just, oh, crazy. Uh, it's, I've seen the TBKC. TBKC will officially be putting papers back out here in February. Uh, like I said, look at Steve. One of the Steve, I told you, don't use that word. Now the people are going to be mad at me about the Warlock Dobies. But um, we officially be putting back out papers. Uh, it's been a journey. A lot of, a lot of uh, things have changed with the TBKC for the better. And I thank y'all who have been patient with me on this thing. And now we're about ready to rock. The printers are in. Everything is in. It's a little bit of software that's being added and changed around. And uh, we'll get the papers over here. And it'll be Print City after that. And y'all will notice when it's Print City because it'll be every day. I'm telling y'all to send in y'all paperwork and let's get going. Um, Show schedule will be released here very soon. That's my fault. Like I said, I had to take some time off. Somebody decided to make it hard on me with my kids. So I have to handle that shit first. But uh, 
as you know, as we go along, it's going to be better. But if, if nothing else, man, I'm happy to see the community, you know, really step up. Yeah, and uh, Oscar, I, I have information up where you'll be able to start sending in paperwork here very shortly, within the next week or so, and we'll be ready to rock. I just stopped taking in paperwork because we weren't ready to put it out in the system. Everything was not what it needed to be. And one thing I didn't want to do is I didn't want to give people like a very insufficient type product right off top. So when it goes out, it'll be good. It's just beautiful paperwork. Even the envelopes are beautiful. So it'll all work out, you know, but uh, we'll have a ton of shows and actually the first show should be getting started here in the next month. And then after that, it's going to be a, a onslaught of shows, but it's been hard, man. I ain't going to lie. I would never lie to y'all and tell y'all that starting a registry is an easy thing if you're going to do it the right way. But, uh, it's there. I'm, I'm sort of happy now that everything is going in the right direction, man. And, you know, oh God, being still going, being I agree with you on that. Anything is possible through God. Amen to that. I, I'm definitely going to agree with you on that. I, I don't have nothing negative to say about that. But, uh, <laughs> st st oh, man, I tell you what, man, I'm going to jump off here. But I wanted to get on here, have a laugh with y'all, you know somewhat preach but let y'all know man let man that's up the level of our community I, i'm not mad at anybody for getting their money but what about your dogs man it's just that simple what about your dogs you know we can we can set out as many rumors as we want we can set out as many lies as we want we can do this and we can do that we can keep playing these games but at the end of the day the only thing that the rest of the world is looking at in our community is the quality of our dogs and there are some very nice dogs in this community, but there is a lot of garbage dogs that have been winning. And we need to uh, straighten that out as fast as we can, man. All right, I'm going to end this for Ben. Don't take no more punishment. We can't. I'll tell you all one thing about Ben, though. He like a good punching bag. He going to take that shot, but he going to swing right back at your ass. <laughs> I'll tell you that, man. But uh, hey, God bless y'all, man. And uh, y'all do what y'all got to do, man. I will catch y'all on the next one. Much love. Peace.